All right, guys, today's video, uh, I'm gonna show y'all my bedroll, what I keep in it. Uh, we're actually gonna be camping. I got a buddy coming out and uh, we're gonna camp over tonight. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video on a cowboy bedroll. Now what we've got here is, is a, I don't know, this thing probably every bit of 80 pounds, probably. It's just rolled up with some leather straps and it's all canvas. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna unbuckle it and show y'all real quick. I'm not gonna necessarily sleep right here, but I'll probably sleep pretty close to the fire over there. And uh, these are just some leather straps and uh now this canvas if you get to wondering is specially designed for this i got it from sheridan tent company it's got a three inch flap uh and it's all folded up let me unfold it here it's got some clips in the center and i'll show you i'm, I'm kind of showing you the reverse process and then I'll do it again so everybody can kind of see. But it's got clips just right here. I'll try and zoom in, get a better shot. Let's see. All right. That's that. But what, what you'll end up doing, you can fold this out. Now, when I sleep in it, I leave these bottom three clipped and I just pull up in here and I got my bedding material and uh, but I'll get a little bit closer shot of that a little bit anyway okay so this is a different angle that's the head flap a three-foot head flap um, you always roll it uh, from the head flap up to this way but this is what it kind of looks like those clips here and I've got it folded one way there and one way right there. And then here in the top is where it, it folds back like that. You can pull it back like such. It's twice as long. That's to kind of, that's to help shed water. One, it helps, uh, acts as a blanket you top blanket now what i've got here are some wool blankets these are some old military a quilt and some more wool wool is really good for these uh bed rolls uh this one this one's a swiss wool but i'm not going to get too involved in it there's a quilt now when it's uh really really cold you'll probably get in this sleeping bag and then i've also got a memory foam this is a it's a real good memory foam and uh don't use see this is like cotton or cloth don't use those uh synthetic ones they will slide they they don't they don't pack up real good so uh it's recommended not to use those uh academy type Get you one that's cloth out like that. And it's just, this was my dad's actually. It's, it's an old, old one, but it's a good one. But a wool blanket, wool blanket. More than likely what I'll do tonight, it's not getting that cold. I will lay on this, this blanket here and just cover up in between that. Or it may just use that as a blanket. But that's the... Uh, that's how you pack it up. Now I've, I've got it just kind of folded these edges here, folded up under it to make it look nice. But uh, that's it. Let me uh, back up and I'll show you uh, how to put it back together. Get everything nice and neat like you want. Pack it up. Now, 
Make sure your canvas is spread out pretty good. Try and get all the uh, leaves, spiders, anything. The first move is to take the top portion and take it back up and put it up to the top. Now I've divided, notice the bottom or top comes up to this even. So I kind of check, put my sleeping bag and all that where it works at the bottom. <clears throat> Right here is a good spot to store. I don't, I got a pillow in the truck, but I don't keep one in here. I usually keep some long johns, uh, tops and bottoms. I can, or pajamas, and then use a jacket or something like that for a pillow. But anyway, or you can store a pistol, gun, or you know, uh, anything you want to that you want to roll up in there. You want to store at the head. <coughs> now, get this off. Take your flaps. Throw them pine straw everywhere, because that's okay. And pull it toward the middle. And you reach over here, grab the other side, flip it over. And then you got your clips here, you can help kind of keep them but that that's folded in that particular manner because if you were to get rained on it doesn't go into the sleeping bag uh, another particular reason you use wool because wool holds temperature if it's wet cotton if it gets wet and you're trying to cuddle up it'll actually draw the uh, heat off of you through convection so wool is really good I know it's scratchy it's scratchy to uh, sleep with it but that's why you wear pajamas or long johns it's not too bad sometimes after a while you get kind of used to it but again I, I bought this from Sheridan tent uh, tents and awnings out of Wyoming Sheridan, Wyoming, that's the town. <clears throat> well, like I say now, right here is the spot. Get you some long johns, other, uh, anything you want to store, you can put right in here. And then also too, whenever you do get in there, you can use this head flap to kind of cover up to keep the rain off of you. Uh, the old spider but fold that head flap over and then start from the head and just roll it up like you would a big sleeping bag there you go that's going to be it. Put your leather straps on it. People out west, whenever they do cattle drives or back in the day, this is what they would use. You can put this on a pack mule if you got a room. Most of the time they just get their bedroll and uh, throw it on, on the chuck wagon and let the chuck wagon haul it to where they were doing it on their cattle drives. So anyway. That kind of wear you out a little bit. It's kind of it is heavy material, but it's it's well worth it. So leave you a comment. Let me know what y'all camp with. If y'all use traditional sleeping bags, or if y'all use a bedroll.
nothing wrong with sleeping bags. It's just I like the Western lifestyle, so I try and kind of tend toward that. And uh, that's just kind of what I like. But anyway, we appreciate that. If y'all will, hit that subscribe button. It does help support the channel. And uh, if you like this content, hit that thumbs up as well. We'll see y'all on the next episode of Big South Ranching.